Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melgucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Tables. Alright, so what I have in front of me is a deck that's mainly tuned to beat Mono Red with the addition of 4 Duress because the Bot Tricker is a thing and you need to have Duress. Um, there isn't Doom. I call this deck Doomless because it doesn't have uh, the card Doom foretold. Uh, I just think that maybe it's a little bit too slow and uh, in BO1. Um, so yeah, 4 of Arcanos sounds great, that's gonna be our main uh, and only basically win con. The deck also has 3 Shodan of the Skulls, which uh, is going to be kind of like our card advantage engine. We have enough sources, 13 sources is enough. This new pathway make it very easy to splash in my opinion. Um, there's Omen of the Sun, you put counters on, and that's basically it. The rest of the deck is like spot removal spells and... That's just it. <laughs> There's just no more space. I'd actually play 60 cards. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's what I'm gonna do here. Maybe not a very good deck. Probably isn't a very good deck, but uh, I just uh, I just wanted to play a little bit with it. And then we do a draft for sure. Good morning, good morning. Uh, chat, what deck beats Rogue? Uh, literally any deck with some uh, creatures that can attack as fast as possible. Mono red, mono white. You can go with Temple of Malice strategies, but I refrain. I would refrain from that. No, come on, you Orion Sky Nomad. No, no, you Orion Sky Nomad. No, we're supposed to only get matched against aggro decks. No, you Orion Sky Nomad. Yeah, I know, but this time I play four. You know, that's a big difference. All right, if they're playing Soul Tire, there's literally no way I can win. But I try my best. I try my best. What you do end of turn? Oh, that was a pause. Hmm. Big Milton. What you have under your Golgaris leaves? What you have under your Golgaris leaves? Buongiorno, it's Dasi. Mazza de merda. Alright, let's go. Aspect Nightmare. <gasps> Finding the old gods. Alright. I'm going showdown here. Probably showdown is that I don't even have a land to play. I think I'll just go ahead and play Archon and goes bad. Goes bad, you know. All right, we're in ultimatum territory, and that means it's so inevitable. Inevitable? What does it mean that you play against it? I mean, best of three, sure. In best of one, I wouldn't expect soul tie. Um, I just, I'm just uh, preparing my way to the place here, playing land before showdown. That that really that really tells a lot about oh they countered it all right never mind they've only three cards in end they don't cost their ultimatum we have a chance cowboy a shark tiffon man why these people love to cast the tiffon so much I don't understand it okay, what? Okay, never mind. I mean, I guess it costs six. You got like, I have eight mana. I cast my Tifon. What, what can go wrong? <laughs> How can I punish him? I have two eliminates in my hand. And my deck is literally mono removal. All right, showdown. Please resolve. Nice. Okay, my two eliminates. Am I casting stuff? Does that, does that, no, no, right? No, I don't cast. Never draw ultimatum. Opponent never draw ultimatum. If we beat Soltau with this deck, that's a sign. It'd be like a sign of what? <laughs> I don't know. Better word. I said that's a sign. All right, so I'll play Omen. I'll play Glass Casket. Put a counter on a one one. And that's your turn, Big Milton. 
What you gonna do about my 2-2 two -two and my 1-1? One -one? Huh? What are you going to do about my 2-2 two -two and a 1-1? One -one? Don't roll tomato. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Alright, to begin with, I'll play the rest and pump my tiny 1-1. One -one. And I'll see your hand. What you got? What you got, Big Milton? You have some secrets over there? Oh, you do have some- Oh, you wanna remove a counter? Okay, I'll allow it. I'll allow your counter removal spell. Good morning. Oh, land and Yorion. Hmm. Hmm, okay, it's time to go all in. All in has been declared. Opponent never draw ultimatum. Never, never draw anything relevant. Never. I know I'm asking too much, but uh, just, you know what? I call it a bravo. Bell bird. Just like that. A raw bird. Land from hand. Perfect. On top, draw. See? I'll uh, remove, destroy the creature. See? Play planes. Baras, 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 baras. Now, point, draw another land and we win the game. That's it. That's it. That's what's gonna happen. See, Katsu, see? But it hasn't drawn anything relevant the whole match. And that's it for the black white Doomless deck. Be like, Mango, you should get a bigger setup. Nah, that would be like changing whatever. I don't want to change anything. I want my life to look exactly the same as it was like, I don't know, well, five years ago. You make videos because broke space bar? I don't know. Maybe. Like, can you fix the space bar? Broken? Okay, mono white, bueno. Mono white is much tougher than uh, mono red. Yeah, so many people ask me, oh, how did your life change after you won the thing? I'm like, did it change at all? I guess it changed. I, I bought lots of cards that I didn't need. That's how it changed. You can put a slab for your keyboard. Hmm. No, cats. I can't. My deck can't deal with the season hollow blade. I did. I actually. I I put like two glass casket, two banishing light, and three extinction events. So that's seven ways to deal with it. That's fine. Selfless Savior. Where Savior? All right. Let me put the stop. I guess they have the seal for Savior. So whatever. I guess I'll diversify these. Are you protected? Well, I'll put it with the right... I'll put it with the right uh, sequencing there. They really progress... They really programmed the bot very well. Even, like, with the right sequencing. <gasps> and this is just already happening again. This is literally just life going back of 10 minutes. Are you also experiencing the same thing where life just got back of 10 minutes? Last game it was exactly this. I was planning on casting Showdown and I top decked Arch Archon before. It's just exactly that. The, like, one is not gonna have a Skycleave Operation. We're gonna play like a model of the Skycleave and I'm just gonna win the game on behalf of Pepegasus. No, it's not the same! Life actually has a meaning. So those people at church teaching me how it was, they were right. It isn't how I thought. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I thought it was the, 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 the like 15 min minutes cycle of life. Okay, I guess I'll, um... I guess we're, we're gonna continue here. Skycleave, why? Uh, Skycleave Sedge. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, Selfless Savior? No, no, no! Let's kill the Luminar Gasparant. Gonna also kill the Skycleave Operation? I think so, right? I want my 4-4 token. Although 4-4 token is not good enough against the Seasonal Blade. We need to draw a removal spell that exiles. My Seasonal Blade is so strong, honestly. 
A good five year. That yeah. That yeah, Glass Casket, come on. I'll stand there right now. That's okay, I like it. I like it better than most formats. Uh, so I can play Showdown. But it will boot Tamale, I think, if I play Showdown. But I think I have to. I just play Showdown Chump. Yeah. Um, I just, need, I just need to find rear removal spell. Unfortunately, these do not qualify. People play Halvar. Yeah, people people play Halvar. Yeah. If you want to be updated with what people play, you can go to exclamation mark um, channel Fireball. We keep every deck very updated. All right, GG YY Jing. I, I think that. This so matchup isn't, like, Mono Red, I think it's a very good matchup for the deck. Mono White, it's tough. It's based on Season Hollow Blade. I think if they draw Season Hollow Blade, it's, it becomes way harder. Because I have, I have a melee removal spell, but I don't have a melee removal spell that exile. I only have seven that exile. I mean, it's a good card. It's just that you need, I think you need, like, answer right away to, like, Robber of the Rich and stuff like that. Opponent name is Obergasm. Yeah, I think I'll go Duress. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, Kibura Takedown is the card that I took. What's this? The Castle I don't understand what this card does. One second, let me read this card. Oh, top of the top. Ninja Courage becomes a god. Is this the snow land? Eden? Alright, uh, uh oh. Hmm. I'll play planes on this. I'm gonna play Eliminate on uh, some guy, probably a selfless savior. I don't have any answer to Lurus, unfortunately. I mean, Extinction Event would be God Draw, but other than that. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. That's lucky. I think I'll go Mountain here. I don't exile the Lurus. And I put it as just a bunch of 1 1s, a card in it, and a land that I don't even know what it does. I'm probably going get actual nothing. Luminar Casperant, okay. And I'll say of Life Bounty, okay. Yeah, you go to 24. Go down. Also nice. I'll go to 11 and just slam Archon. I need to take you down of 27. Actually, they can go to 27 this turn. Wow, you try not to want to just... Oh, cowboy, yeah. Just losing to the Speaker of the Heavens here, it looks like. I mean, Glass Caskets would have been a great draw, it's just that it doesn't, doesn't matter if they have the Alsaid. I'll play Showdown. I need to increase my Archon up to a 5 toughness so I can block the, the Angel. I'm gonna pass.
Next turn, let's see what I draw, but I can go another Archon and Glass Gasket. It certainly feels bad when you don't really care about the, you know, your opponent gaining life. But just the fact that your opponent has this, like, super powerful engine, a Speaker of the Heavens, is definitely nice. All right. You're putting counter on... Oh, on the A... Oh, yeah, that's true. Just put counters on them. That's true. All right, I'll chump it. Hmm. Interesting block now. Do I want an Avanti Altro? Sure. All right, I'll block. Sure. A block like this, we are still alive, and get one more draw steps. What's your extinction event? It's not that good. Hello, Sky Builds. Eliminate. Hello. Ah, this game is tough here. Oh, because they also have the Luminar Casperance. So, I can go Extinction Event on Odd. I mean, that's a start. But, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a start. Oh, I don't even have double... Oh, yeah, that's fine. I have a glass casket. All right. So, I'll go Extinction Event on Odds. Let's see, if, let's see if they protect something. Because they don't know about my glass casket. 487. Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta watch the the thing. The year I'm naming odds. If I name if I name even, I can't name even. I have to name odds. Double nightmare? No. Did you answer that the question by yourself? Okay. Double nightmare? No. Other play. So here, if I go shock myself, go to two. Kill the 6-6. Six, six. And my Archon is a 5-6. And attack. E, um, vado a 2. Poi vado a 5. Vado a 7. I'm dead on board. Aspetta un attimo. Wait a sec, opponent. I have to chump and top deck another Elspeth Nightmare. That is my line, right? That is my line. I'll chump block. If I attack, I go to 7, I'm dead. So yeah, if you chum block this and top deck, um, it's just that this mana is so awkward. Like, look at that. Monoplanes. It's crazy. I just lost to this card. Speaker of the Heavens. Really, really is crazy. Die. Come on, extinction event. Oh, glass casket. Okay. We can do this. So I'll go Elspeth Nightmare on a Luminar Casperant. I mean, I guess even the swamp would have been fine. Glass casket on this token. Pass the turn. Even a swamp would have been fine, but anyway, I go to five. I have two cards. Land go, nice. I see your hand. Draw omen, perfect. Land buono, buono, cazzo, buono. I go to Spet Nightmare. Kill your two two, and then I have a two two game. Die, 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 die. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're in a good shape now. Nice. I mean, opponent drawing like three lands in a row. Oh, Castle Ardenville. Not a bad one. A scrying upkeep here. Also, exiling their graveyard isn't bad with the Elspeth Nightmare because that means that if they top the colors, it's not gonna be as good. Things start to look good here. I don't want these cards. I need Archon or Showdown. Archon? Okay, eh. Uh, mmm. They have castles, because castle is going to be very annoying, I can tell you that one. I'm passing here. I don't want to attack. 32 to 7, there's no reason to trade. I might just rush showdown. I 
Ah. Very good. Uh, we need Arca now. We need Arca now or never. Die Archon in the next like two or three draws. I think I'm still fine. Die Archon. It might have been so. Oh, Maria Cole maybe is a good draw too. No. Do I want more omens? I don't think I want more omens. Ecolib, buono. Alright, now that's a 3-4. So their model of the sky cleave, uh, the human on the model of sky cleave is too small. Now of course I need more humans to back it is up, but... Yeah, exactly. Imagine if that land would have been in heaven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they also play heaven. At least there's no unless there's no reason to play as no cover land. Right, so they can giant no but I miss oh well, no anyway, this is a 3-4. You can't kill it with the giant killer. Alright. You can tap it down with giant killer. You can keep the mole. No, right? Yeah, I should probably make a token. Punishing light, cazzo. Where do we go with this Vanishing Light? Do we go on the Giant Killer or on the Mao? I think I'll go on the Giant Killer. I guess I have lots of removals for the Giant Killer. So maybe I don't care about that one. Maybe just go on the Mao. Eh? It's just that the Giant Killer also stops my 1-1. One -one. My The Mao stops my Pepegazai. I think I'll go on the Mao. I have so many removal spells in my deck. It's not going to be a problem to do with a giant killer, right? Or at least that's what I tell myself. I mean, I've scribed like six cards. It's fine if I draw reasonably well, right? I put counters on tokens. This card? No, right? It's not how it works. Or a legendary creature becomes a god. Oh wow, you draw faceless seven. Hey. And you drew Kavir takedown. Hey. Okay. Uh do we want do I have any preferences? I want to attack. No, right? Yeah, it's not attack. E I'll pass. My opponent doesn't activate the Faceless 7 if I'm not up. Thank God I killed the mall instead of the Giant Killer. This game has been a good one. This game has been a very good one. They can make Heaven a God? Oh, Kaboy, that's true. Indestructible counter on the god. But they don't have mana. Oh yeah, they do have mana. Oh my, that can actually happen here. They can make an indestructible counter on this. No, they don't do it. There may be fear of removal spell, because if I have a removal spell, it's pretty bad. I mean, not that this was good. All right, um, I'll hold this duress. I need to do something relevant here. Did you win something? Yeah, you won the influence prize. You get Alright, I need like showdown into something. Alright, Archon is a good start. Let's go to combat. Maybe they tap this Pepegasus down. Nice. And post combat I'll play Archon. Okay.
All right, now they can't attack. Come on, draw. Draw showdown. Showdown. All right, because this could be anything. Even a showdown. Oh, Omen. Nice. Hello, Voskos music. All right, I'll play Swamp. We'll go to combat. My Papetas is his life link here, so I'll attack with it. My opponent will never see the Omen of the Sun coming, and they will attack with their older creatures, and will crush through my blockers in despair. This is like my last Omen, too. I've drawn all four Omen. Uno, due, tre, quattro. No, due, tre. I only draw two. All right, this is the third one. And this Castle Ardeville has done so much for them. So jealous. I'm so jealous of their, like, late game being better than mine. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, just crush your, your creatures into my board state. Bravo, 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 bravo. Man, playing best of one is great. People don't even straight snipe you, because it's just a different game. People just play way more friendly. All right, so I get up a Pegasus and two humans. Oh, yes, true. Cry yeah, that's true. Cry one to the bottom. All right, now I block. Do I want to block like this, or do I have any differences? I think I block like this, yeah. Nice, they didn't even sacrifice. Just sacrifice, right? Yeah, whatever. 14 to 22, we're okay. Ashbringer. Is that fun? Creatures under the battlefield. Alright, let's stop three planes and scry. Come on, showdown. 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 Nice. Nice, chat. Nice. Nice, nice. We're doing this. We're actually doing this. All right, main. Uh, I'm just going to combat, right? Go to combat. You can tap me down if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I'll attack with you with both. See? Lifelink. Lifelink creatures always have to attack. Yeah, I'll play showdown, leaving the swamp up because they have Heartless sucked on top. Making a token, drawing four cards, and now pump my team. That's why I held this your ass, because you can pump your team with the second chapter of Showdown. All right, it's a land among these. So I'll play land. I believe I just want to heartless this giant killer out now. What a cool game this has been. All right, so I'll kill the giant killer now. And that's your turn, opponent. Make a token, sure. Land opponent has it's weird. It just like makes an indestructible thing. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's. Uh, they've never activated it. Yes, God. So this is good. This has been a good game. This has been a good game of Magic. All right, we're eight and four with this deck. I'm. I'm enjoying it. All right, I have to go.